Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to install a bookings plugin for the cleaning services website. So I'll show you how to create a bookings form on the cleaning services website. This plugin is specially designed only for the cleaning services. If you are running cleaning services website for home cleaning or office cleaning, then this plugin will be useful to create the bookings form on the cleaning services website. Let me show you an example of the booking form here. Here you can see the booking form and in the right hand side you will see the live booking summary and the live calculator. Here you can see different types of cleanings. Your customer will be able to select different types of cleaning from here. You can change the type of cleaning. You can add your own type of cleaning. So if I select move in and out, you will see the change in the price here. Like this. And you will see the calculation also here. If you want to add taxes, you can add the taxes also. This form is fully customizable. You can add your own options. You can change or modify the current options. So here you can see how often would you like to clean one time weekly, bi-weekly. If I change it to monthly, you will see the change in the price here. Total price will also change here. If you want to add discounts, you can also add discounts. From here, a customer will be able to select the type of cleaning, the number of bedrooms, bathrooms and square feet. Let's see if I change it to three bedrooms, you will see the change here. If I select two bathrooms, you will see the change here. So this is the live calculator and the live booking summary section. Here you will see an extra items that they want to add. I have added oven, window, ironing, fridge. If you want to disable, you can disable this entire section. If I select clean window, you can see the option here, how many windows, if I change it to two, you will see the pricing difference here. From here, they can select the date and the time of the appointment. If I change it to 30 and I can select the time 3 p.m. After that, the customer will enter the name, email, phone number. You can also integrate the payment gateway to this booking form. So right now the Stripe and the WooCommerce payments is available for this bookings plugin. So if you have Stripe, then you can integrate the Stripe payment gateway to this booking form and you will be able to charge the customer in the booking form itself. So I'll show you how to install this form and how to customize this booking form. You can also use the multi-step booking form. So this is the example of the multi-step booking form. Here you will see the first step type of cleaning. I'm going to select deep, go next. The next you can select time weekly bi-weekly and you will see the live calculator here go next how many bedrooms bathrooms you can select it from here extra items go next on the next they can select the time and the date and next they will be able to enter the first name last name email address and phone number so this is the same booking form but the format is multi-step booking form so you can use two different types of forms the simple booking form and the multi-step booking form so let's see how does this work do not forget to subscribe to quick tips youtube channel watch new videos about website design e-commerce websites search engine optimization social media marketing wordpress tutorials video editing tips and many more Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. And now we are going to install the WordPress booking plugin for the cleaning services website. Let me show you the website from where I have downloaded the plugin. The name of the plugin is Cleanly, the WordPress cleaning services bookings plugin. On this page, you will see all the features of this plugin. I'll give you the link in the description box. If you want to buy this plugin, you can use my link to purchase this plugin. Here you will see all the features. You can have single form, multi-step form, my account for the customers, quick booking form, booking summary. I'll show you how to install this plugin and how to create the booking contact form on your website. Automate your cleaning business in just a few minutes. Payment system integration. Right now they have Stripe and WooCommerce payment. As of now, Stripe is active and WooCommerce payment will be integrated soon. If you do not want to use the payment integration, you can disable that also. Personal information, payment procedure, thank you page settings, 
PDF billing is also available. You, you can create invoices. You can send the email invoices. Friendly functions, easy to customize, no coding, order form, live calculation, payment integration, compatibility. Let me show you the pricing of this plugin. Here you will see the pricing. For the single website, it will cost you $99. That is for the lifetime. If you want annual plan, that will cost you $49. For five website in just $159. Here you will see all the features included, lifetime free support, get unlimited booking order, multi-step booking form. You can compare the plans. I'll give you the link in the description box. 100% money back guarantee is also there within 30 days of your purchase. So I have already downloaded. This is the account I have on this website. And here you can see all the plugins that I have from this website. So this is the plugin that I'm going to install cleanly. So I have already downloaded it. Now let's see how we can install it. So I'm back on the WordPress website. Let's go to plugins and click on add new. Click on upload plugin. Browse the plugin that we have downloaded. Click on install now. All right, so the plugin has been uploaded. Now click on activate plugin. All right, so the plugin has been installed and it is activated. Here in the left hand side, you will see the option cleanly booking, click on it. So this will show all the bookings that you have on this website. First of all, we will need to activate the license. So I'm going to click on active license. Let's go back to the dashboard of the account on this website. And here you will see the license options. I'm looking for cleanly. So I'm going to click on it. I need to register my website first. So I'm going to add the domain here. Click on add domain. Okay, from here, I can get the license key. Now I'm going to enter the license key on this website and click on activate license. Successfully activated the license key for this domain. Now here you'll see another option settings. Click on it. So these are the basic settings of the booking form. So let's see, choose design. I'm going to use advanced. And here you will see the short course that you can use. If you want to display form in page, you can select the form. So I'm going to select one of the page here. I have the demo page here. So I'm going to select that demo page. This is the multi-step form and this is the single form settings. So let's use demo. So let's see how the form looks first. So I'm going to save the changes. And this is the page that I have used. And you can see the contact form is already there. So when I selected the demo page, it has added the contact form on this page automatically. So we are going to customize this form. This is the multi-step form. So let's disable this one and let's try using multi-step. Click on demo. I have selected the demo page and click on save changes. Now let's refresh it. Now here you will see another layout of the contact form. It is a multi-step form. We will go through the single form settings and after that we will use the multi-step form. This will be the same booking form, but it will be in the multi-step format. So I'm going to use the demo page for the single form settings. And let me save the settings. And now we will go through all the settings. So as of now, we are using this single form on the demo page quick booking form. This will be the quick booking form. I'm not going to use it right now. If you want, you can use this form also. This will be the booking summary. You will see the booking summary here. So leave it as it is. Display is fixed. If you scroll down to the page, it will stay at this fixed location. So I'm going to leave it as it is terms and condition. If you have terms and condition page, you can select the terms and condition page here. If you do not have, you can create a new one and then select the page here. Now, these are the style settings, border, shadow, padding, the title color, the size. If you want to change these style settings, you can change the style setting from here. So I'm not going to change it. I'm going to leave it as it is. So refresh it. We are going to use the single form. So this is the single form. Now, let me show you the steps that we have. So let's go back to the settings. 
and here you will see form data book your cleaning this is the title so here you will see the title if you want to change it you can change it from here this is the subtitle now here you will see disable VAT if you want to use tax setting you can enable this one and whatever percentage you have or you have flat rate you can change the tax settings from here so as of now I'm going to use 10% tax and I'm going to name it as GST whatever tax name you have you can enter it here and percentage you can enter the percentage here so I'm going to save all the changes so that we have the we will have the tax here right now it shows 20 percent just leave it as it is right now it is on now here you will see 10 percent GST will be added there so this is the step one if you want to disable this section here you will see the section services and extras this is the first option what type of cleaning choose your type of cleaning so this is the title and the subtitle and they have three different types of cleaning here box or select so if you want to use it as box so right now here you will see box settings if you want to make it select you can change it to select if you want to add another one you can click here and you can add another type of cleaning let's save the changes and refresh it now here you will see a type of cleaning it is now in this select format so I'm going to change it back to box next is like here you will see how often would you like cleaning choose your like of cleaning so this is the title and this is the subtitle and this is the box type here you will see the same box type here one time weekly bi-weekly monthly so if I select one time here you can add price for one time this is the title and if you want to add any discount you can add the discount here let's go back to types and here you will see the pricing for the types also if I go to standard you will see the price for the standard if you want to change it you can change it from here let's make it 25 for the standard for the deep right now it shows 40 I'm going to change it to 45 move in let it as it is 80 if you want to add discount you can add discount let me add 5 discount so it will be a flat discount of $5 Let's go back to the second one like one time shows the pricing of 25 and I'm going to add discount of 5 for the weekly it is 40 no discount bi-weekly 80 let's add discount of 10 and for monthly it will be 100 let's add a discount of 10 save the changes let's go back and refresh it now let me add something here so I'm going to select the standard type of cleaning and you will see the live calculator here the subtotal is 25 and GST will be 2.5 that is the 10% for the dip you will see 45 and 4.5 move in out the price is $80 and there is a discount of $5 and that will cost you $75 and this is the GST of 7.5 now let's select another option here monthly so for the monthly we have the price setting of $100 and 10 discount so here you will see we have added $100 and 10 discount is already there and this is the 10% GST now next will be about how often would you would you like let's change it to would you like home cleaning whatever title you want you can change the title home or office cleaning about home or office so this is the section how often would you like now here they can mention the bedroom bathroom number of bedrooms bathrooms and square feet so let's go to bedroom this is the name this is the pricing per bedroom and this is the simple icon if you want to add icon you can click on it and from here you can add the icons maximum value minimum value 
discount if you want to add child items you can add child also child items second one is bathroom for bathroom we have $40 let's change it to $30 and from here they can select number of bathrooms like this one two three four five one two three four five and the third one is square feet for each square feet it's 40 from here they can select we have three different options 500 to 1000 1000 and 121499 like that here you can see you can add the different options here $20 for the 500 to 1000 square feet 22 for the next one and 22 for the next one Okay, let's save the changes here refresh it and here you can see we have got one bedroom if i add one bedroom you will see 20 dollars added here add bathroom 30 dollars for each bathroom and if i select 500 to 1000 square feet it will add 20 dollars so it is calculating live in the right hand side now let's move on to the next option extra you here you can add extra items that you want how often would you so i think the text is not good here so here i'm going to change so would you like to clean extra items so this will be the text here you will see option icons and images we have added some images here o1 the first option is o1 here you will see it and the pricing for this one is twenty dollars the second one is clean window window cleaning and pricing for this one will be 40 clean fridge forty dollars ironing forty dollars let's click on add we will try to add new one and let's change it to car i'm going to add some demo content here so we are going to add car let's see if we can add icon here and the pricing will be 50 let's save the changes and let's refresh it okay here you can see the car has been added but it's not taking the image because it is set to image and we have added the icon so we have to add some image here so for the car i'm going to add this dummy image so i do not have any image so i'm going to use this one save changes and refresh it so this is the image that i have added now i'm going to add oven and you will see it here added extra item and i'm going to add ironing here you would see it added now let's move on to the next item that will be time choose hours and date so they will need to select the time the title and the subtitle from here they can select the date and let's select 9 a.m so here you will see march 28 and 9 a.m here you will see the time the next option will be first name last name so i'm going to add the name here phone number so they will need to add the phone number i'm going to add some dummy number here and after that they can click on confirm booking let's go back to settings from here they can select date and time box so these are the time blocks that we have here these are the time blocks if you want to add more time blocks you can simply click on add say today date limit of days 15 days so it will take bookings up to 15 days so here you can see up to 15 days it is available if you want to change it you can change it from here weekends you can set the weekends also here you will see the sunday is not available for booking now if you want to disable any date you can select the date that you want to disable from here once done click on save all changes next one is custom do you have any special requirement i guess you can see it here 
this is the custom option if i add yes i do have this is just the dummy text so it will send the information to the owner of the website now style i'm not going to make any changes if you want to change the style setting you can use that option additional form data payment and settings so here you can see payment and final personal details first name last name email address phone number so these are the fields that we have here for the personal information this is the personal information payment method right now it is turned off card stripe so there are two options card that is through stripe and the second one is woocommerce that is not available right now so if you are using stripe then you can enter the stripe key here publishable key secret key and publishable key required this is for the test mode and this is for the live settings so if you have stripe account you can enter the keys here and it will enable the payment system on the booking form let me save the changes refresh it enable it refresh it now here you will see payment detail is available you need to enable this one enable payment method so this will be the card number date of expiry the cvv and the name of the card holder i'm going to disable it for now save the changes refresh the form and you will see that the payment option is gone now i'm going to open this website in another browser and i'm going to log in as a customer and let's see how does this work on the customer's end so here i have opened the same booking page on another browser and now i'm going to use it as a customer so first of all i'm going to select this option standard say one time one bedroom one bathroom and this option extra clean oven car select the date select this one and 9 am so we have selected the date and the time so i'm going to enter the details here right now the payment option is disabled check this box and click on confirm booking so let's go back to the admin dashboard refresh it so i'm going to all bookings here so here i can see the newly added booking information here from here i can download the invoice let's click on edit and here i can see the details of this booking standard one time one bathroom one bedroom square feet is also mentioned here oven and car is selected number of oven one special requirement is not there and this is the date and this is the time so i can see all the information this is the customer information name last name email address and the phone number so, so here i can get in touch with the customer and i can come from the booking with the customer and from here i can change the status if you are using payment status then you can change the status from here so i'm going to select processing and click on update let's go back to settings and now we will see how to use the multi step booking form so i'm going to disable this one and i'm going to enable the multi step form so this is the same form i'm going to select demo page the same page the save the changes let's go back to the website and refresh the page now you will see the same booking form in the multi step format so this is the first step type of cleaning so i'm going to select standard click on next and it will go to the next step weekly next will be the number of bedroom bathroom and square feet select the extra let's go to next and from here i'm going to select the date time let's go to next your first name last name email address phone number 
and click submit right now we do not have payment so it will not show the payment so this is how the multi-step booking form works if you want to use quick booking form you can use the quick booking form also so this is how you can use the bookings plugin for the cleaning services website so if you are running the cleaning services website then this booking plugin will definitely help you create the bookings system on your website so if you want to buy this plugin you can use my link in the description box so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.